Hi, my name is Justin Onofredi. I'm with Dennis and Yachting, and today I'm going to walk you through our 2003 97-foot Hargrave Forever Young. The 97 Hargrave cockpit motor yacht is a really special yacht. For its size range, it offers more inside and outside than most motor yachts comparably in size. Four stateroom layout with five heads, including two VIPs, one of which has a special private entrance. We're going to begin the tour here on the cockpit, which is the stern of this motor yacht, and it allows good space for you to set up all your water toys, including scuba gear, snorkel gear, and other water equipment. You have two entryways on the port and starboard side to the aft deck, and you've got a private access for the crew to the crew quarters and to the engine room. Let's move up to the aft deck. The aft deck is a large, perfect place to take in the view and relax in comfort and style. It's multifunctional. The table can lower down, or you can raise it up, and you can have a formal dining setting. And on the port side, you've got a full wet bar that includes a sink, refrigerator, and prep area. The layout's fantastic. You can access the flybridge from inside, or you can access it from here on the aft deck. Follow me. The flybridge and boat deck on the 97 Hargrave is a huge space to enjoy. We've got two jet skis and a 2,000 pound capacity davit. This arrangement could be modified to have inflatables and a jet ski, or just an inflatable as you desire. One of the most essential parts of owning a motor yacht in South Florida is the flybridge barbecue section. You've got a huge space to barbecue lobsters or fish that you might catch in the Bahamas, sink and prep area, and then you've got a massive chest freezer because you can't buy enough food when you go do a two-week trip in the Bahamas. The Flybridge is one of those great spaces on a yacht where everybody gravitates whether it's day or night. Not only is this a classy and very comfortable arrangement, but it's multi-purpose. You can have dinner up here, you can also have cocktails, the tables have been modified to slide. The Flybridge Home is not only a favorite spot for guests, but it's also a favorite spot for captain and crew. Very, very well laid out that duplicates what's down below. You're not limited to docking the boat from one side or the other. You have docking stations on both sides, which makes it easy no matter what the docking situation might be. It's also fun for any owner or guest that's on board to sit here with the captain. We've got all the equipment that you would need to take you guys safely wherever you want to go. Now that we're done with the flybridge, I'm going to take you to the main deck and I'm going to show you the main salon. The main salon is also another important part on a yacht. Hargrave did a fantastic job incorporating big windows that allow a lot of natural light to come in. It makes it feel bigger and more inviting. All the entertainment equipment has been very well organized here on the starboard aft. TVs on a pop-up lift that hides away in the cabinet. We have a huge L-shaped couch that can seat more than the people that can sleep on board. And then we've got a very well thought out dining room. What's special about the dining room, what's important that a lot of manufacturers overlook is the space behind the seats that allow you to be served properly. They've also incorporated plenty of storage for all your china, crystal, and flatware. They also have a nicely hidden away refrigerator for quick access to drinks and a daytime desk to do any office work. Capturing volume by a builder is very key in the yacht success. Here on the port side, we've got private access to the three of the four staterooms. Follow me. Welcome to the master and guest main foyer. Forward, we have the master stateroom, a very well thought out space, centerline king size bed, his and her cedar line walk-in closets. Moving forward, we have his and her head and adjoining stall shower. Walking aft from the master stateroom, we have two additional staterooms. On our port side, we have two twin beds with an additional Pullman berth. Both staterooms have full guest ensuite heads and showers. And moving to the starboard side, we have an additional VIP with a queen size berth and it has its own private ensuite head. Moving from the dining room on the starboard side, we have the day head, access to the pilot house. 
one of my favorite spots in rough weather. As soon as you get some cold wind or a little spray coming over that bow, it's nice to tuck in there. You've got a whole other set of electronics there. All the functions you have upstairs, you have downstairs in the pilot house. If guests want to join you, there's a little seating area in back of you so they can check out what the captain's doing. They can see the navigation screens. Nice little place to hide. And forward, we have the country kitchen. On motor yachts, 120 feet and down, a country kitchen is a very important aspect of the yacht. Not only is it a great space to have breakfast in the morning or to hang out with the chef when they're cooking lunch, but in the evenings, the guests are having dinner out in the main dining room, the crew can have dinner here. The galley is equipped with everything you need to provide all the comforts of home. Moving forward from the country kitchen, on the starboard side, you have the private VIP. Again, this 97 Hargrave has two VIPs. Having a private VIP is really special for your guests that want to have their own private vacation. Our engine room is accessed by the stern door. First you go through the crew quarters. Then you'll see your engine room door. We've got two Caterpillar diesels in there, 3412E, 1400 horsepower. Cruising speed, 16 knots, max speed 20. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video on this beautiful 2003 97 Hargrave. If you have any questions or would like to see the yacht, please don't hesitate to contact me anytime.